Welcome to K.L. Dixon Ministries International. Knowing Christ in depth and making him known at all costs. I am forever thankful <laughs> for what the Lord has done. I mean, uh, the first time I boarded the plane, uh, we, we almost had a drill on uh, Frankfurt. The pilot missed, missed the runway. It was a lot of fog. And he missed, he left the highway here and landed on the ground. That was very dangerous. We survived, and we survived anyway. <laughs> On my way from the London to the United States of America, we also survived another plane accident. When finally an aircraft lost oxygen. Everybody was sweating. Food was taken back. We were on, on, on the top of the Atlantic Ocean. The captain said, it's very unsafe to open your window. Because the height we are on, there is no oxygen. However, if it goes worse, slightly push your window with just something small. There are a lot of air helps above your seat. But those, those were, were not on. In fact, he asked us to remove the chair and tie it around our chest because yeah. your chair is a floater mechanism. In the Western Atlantic Ocean, that is 4,000 miles away from the land. Atlantic Ocean is a mile uh, on each side. And then there was a little highland called Ganda. This highland can only host a 30 seat aircraft. And this was a 401 aircraft. And it was full board. So as a rescue, we landed at Ganda. But the gadgets to get the people out were not there. It was a 401 seater. Uh, the door is up there. And they have to push a ladder to come and touch the plane so that you may exit. So the plane has landed but now getting out is not, a pro, is not easy. They had to pile up ladders and still there was about a meter or two that they could not reach this big, big aircraft. Even the old ladies jumped out of the plane. <laughs> Everybody turned to be young. We got out of the plane. Well, there was something very small that had gone wrong on this aircraft. There was an airflow fuse. That had grown. So the technician in the aircraft fixed it. And uh, he said, he told us what would be the consequences. He said, this plane has two things that can happen to it. One, it is totally out of order. You need 600 meters to fly um, uh, a seven, 777. But here we barely have 300. And soon after the water, after, after this, there's, a, there's an ocean. So that one is impossible. Actually, what we are going to do 
is to wait for a sheep rescue. Which will take about a week to arrive. To travel 4,000 miles. And another thing they are going to do, the plane is going to be detached entirely. And load it on the ship. All oh, those decisions were hard. Finally, he said, but if we prayed and all allow anything to happen, we are going to push this aircraft to the very end. And everybody gets in and will try to fly it up on 300 on, on, on 300 meters. Everybody swear they was not going to enter. <laughs> but I told them that the God that saved us will save us again in the name of Jesus. Because when such a thing happens in an aircraft, everybody becomes unstable. So the captain was saying, tie your seatbelt. Nobody was tying the seatbelt. Hostess and hosts, please take your seats. Even the hostess were not taking their seats. The kitchen, the kitchen at the rear must close. Where well, every door is open. I remained in my seat. And I talked to the Lord. I said, Lord, I still believe I still have a lot to do in the kingdom. However, if you think I'm done, I am ready to come home. So, everybody said, but why are you settled? I said, I'm afraid of nothing. There's nothing unusual here. People marked that. When this aircraft touched the ground, they shouted louder than we are shouting here. And they clapped hands for about, about 40 minutes. Because when they touched the ground, they knew, yes, we are still in trouble, but now we are out of a major trouble. So when I told them, I am going back to the plane. They said, if this man is going back to the plane, all of us are going back to the plane. <laughs> Went on, took my seat. It was not very easy to get back to the plane because the door is there. It's about a meter away. So you have to, to hold the door to push yourself there. Uh, some people are pushing you in. So eventually everybody was there. Do you know what these people said? Man of God, pray. We continue to pray. <laughs> then the prayer sweet. When touch the water, it went up in the air. <laughs> oh, glory be to God. We had uh, the plane was supposed to touch the ground in Dallas at around 3 p. At around actually 2 p.m. It touched the ground in Dallas at around 10 p.m. You know what happened? We found metal aircrafts in the air. Because whenever an aircraft delays without a, communi a proper communication, they suspect it has been hijacked. So they come ready to rescue the people on the aircraft and also to understand why did it delay. It had been lost on the ladder for about eight hours. Then all of a sudden they see it. They are talking to the, to the, uh, to the captain but nobody believes him. He may be under a gun barrel. So finally touched the ground. 
they inspected it, but the aircrafts remained in the air, and finally they, they told them the story, and everybody evacuated. But when we came out, I was standing right over there, everybody said, I want to know the God you believe in. That's the God I want to believe in. I led so many to the Lord, and the name of the Lord was greatly glorified. So, God has done so many things to me. I should have been in heaven already. He spared me. I can tell story after story. And uh, um, Sincerely very thankful. And may the good Lord bless you. Today I want to speak about the spirit of divination. It's a spirit of the devil. The spirit of In Acts the chapter 16, verse 16 through 18. Now it happened as we went to pray that a certain slave girl possessed with the spirit of divination met us. Who brought her masters much profit by fortune telling? Fortune telling, you will be rich, you will be this, you will be this. Verse 18. Oh, verse 17, okay. This girl followed Paul in us and cried out, saying, These men are the servants of the Most High God who proclaim to us the way of salvation. The demon is talking about the way of salvation. Let's go on. But this, and this she did for many days. Greatly annoyed, uh, uh, Paul, but Paul greatly annoyed, turned and said to the spirit. I command you in the name of Jesus Christ to come out of her. And he came out that very hour. Father, we thank you for your presence today. For it is our help. And thy name be greatly glorified. In Jesus' name we pray. And everybody say, Amen. Amen. Now let's go back to verse 16. Now it, ha it happened in a, as we went to pray. That a certain slave girl possessed with the spirit of divination. Who brought her masters much profit by fortune telling? Today I want to show you something that the just shall live by faith. When we read and study the word of God, we know with God all things are possible. I am healed. I am rich. I am free. I am happy. The Lord has set me free. But now, the devil has a spirit that looks like God. This spirit comes to you because many of you want to get things in a much quicker way. And by the way, everybody needs a good word. Everybody needs to, somebody say, you are going to be rich. And many people need a personalized message. Please come over here. You are going to be very rich. And the Lord is on your side. They even fall before nothing touches them. I want to tell you something. Our preaching is a great exhortation. We give you the word of God. But there are some people that will travel to come and tell you a concocted rumor in the term, in the, in, 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 
a prophetic way. Somebody can come and tell you something. Mm? Madam, Mom. your children are poor because there's a demon that has touched you. I want to tell you, you cannot be in Christ and have a demon. Somebody shout hallelujah. Do you know, these people of the spirit of divination hear the stories. Haven't you ever found somebody that looks for you like as if you have a date? Only to tell you something? God is saying, Your husband is dating someone. God is saying, but God is going to deliver you. And he said, We pray together. That's, that's a rumor. God, our God is not God of trouble. How many of you have met such a people? Just be sincere. Put up your hand. Somebody comes at your place of work. How old are you? I have 35 years. I saw you. I saw you. Surrounding you. Surrounding you. In your neck. Guno gunde kutego maguru. Let me tell you something. In the whole Bible, there's no way God has come that way. Are you with me? There's no demon upon you. Some of you are not married because you are not a shosho. You are too righteous to be married. Meetings where people meet and know each other. You never attend any of them. When they say, How, do, you, do you want to be married? I want to go there in front. So you see? So the problem is not a demon. Then another thing is to marginalize men that can marry you. Can that one marry me? That one. They are not going to be able to do it. No, you have. To. The problem is not, there's no demon that has that power to stop you. Because with God, all things are possible. When you grow, you have to know what you want. And if you think it is a demon, then Christ has not helped you. Christ has not helped you. Then some of you talk too much. A man just speaks one word and you read the whole dictionary to the town. So men, men fear you. <laughs> that one is, can easily be set on fire. I told you one lady came and told me before I got married hey, we now have our day of the wedding and we've told the old men and women they are preparing <laughs> your suit I say wedding he cannot <laughs> it's you so when did this the whole church has seen this thing. <laughs> Let the church see it, but I am not. <laughs> and I'm not part of it. So what I want to tell you, <laughs> don't be so excited. I think for those of you that have been here for long, there were some wrong marriages, and they never survived. But I returned. The man is found. Apuli. 
a pool. <laughs> there goes. That's what God is saying. So ati nyuno mumulisa mtaji ayu. Mutesisiro buire. Kuyamu gene mugambere. Mko kumuikirize rohanga wa komere. If you have accepted you are chosen of God. Kainga. But they are zero. And they get married. Wikibi. Two weeks. Mko undanda buine sitani yuno mnyuru sitani. If I have seen the devil with my husband. Marriage have to discuss. You have to talk. You have to understand each other. So what I'm trying to tell you. Be very careful. Over the people that brings you a prophecy. Now why would God use a prophet. To tell you. And he does not tell you what the prophet is about to tell you. Because you are a prophet. Somebody shout hallelujah. Amen. You are what? It's like somebody coming to me. And say, the Lord God told me that you give me that car. But it's the Lord that disorderly who doesn't know that I cannot give you a car until he speaks to me. Where does he get the courage to tell you to tell me when he can tell me and I give it to you without even you telling me? Now, another thing which I want to tell you, when a person has a spirit of divination, some of the, most of the things he speaks are true because it drains from the presence of the devil. And his words can kill you. I saw a car knocking you to death. But I prayed for you a lot. Now you know you go home. Even when you see a border border, you jump out. He has instilled this fear in you. And if you don't meet, you don't break this. Somebody shout hallelujah. Let me give you something in a, in a spiritual experience. My friend. I'd even call him my brother. Maybe my spiritual son. The former bishop of Church of Uganda. Dreamed a dream. Several times. That he was dying. But he never crossed. He never went. You know, this uniform does not make you spiritual, spiritual superior. What makes you spiritual spirit is to understand the things of the spirit. He did not care. He started testifying. Mm. Mm. I will die. Do you know when she dreamed that, he dreamed that dream? Even other dreamers came. I also saw you dead. You died of in an accident. accident. You died in an accident. You know what happened? It happened. The devil can put you in what is not yours. Because the righteous shall live by faith. And there are some times in your life when this spirit invades you. And you begin to dream that you are in a casket. Dreaming that you are in a casket. That means you are about to die. But God hears your prayer. And says I am not going to die. The next dream you are going to get. You see the casket in shambles. Now listen to this. False prophets instills fear in you. Men of God gives you faith in the name of Jesus. And I want to tell you something. The devil is, um, is, is funny. He says straps. This car parks here. And another Parking Han. Parks here. Han like Jehovah border board. Then a border border cyclist comes York. here and this one comes running. I watch people. Why do these things happen in the same time? And it's raining. Why does this happen at the same time? The devil has put it. But when you come out, you saw it you and you stand at the side. <laughs> How many of them are in the car? The car is parked. The car is parked. The car is parked. The car is coming in front. 
Setani na haba tegele metegu Betu wapukubo saberegi wa sazamu Wa mara amani kwa minyanzugwa Derevo maharibano na ajira magezi na aruga One of these drivers moves off so you live by faith somebody shout hallelujah eh? because people instill fear in you but in the Lord you have no fear in the Lord you have no fear and I want to show you how this spirit operated how this spirit operated in verse 16 in chapter verse 16 she had a spirit of she had a spirit of a divination. Literally, this was the spirit of a, uh, a person. No, a person is talking about is a legendary. In fact, in the dictionary, a person means a programming language. <laughs> a programming language <laughs> out of history. So, uh, you can pick a spirit out of Chikali. You can pick a spirit out of a certain teaching institution. Because when people teach lies, there's a spirit what they get. So, that's what you call a person. So, this lady, a certain foreign spirit, that was used to, to uh, in a god called Apollo that god they worshipped at Delphi where well, this guy was a historian and spoke a lot of words of wisdom had contracted with his, this slave girl and this slave girl all that she spoke was the truth let me show you this spirit how it operates sister Organ. Are you not 35 years old? Ego. Yes. Ego. Yes. Mm, there is a demon from the place that hindered your marriage. When you look at it, <laughs> you really see it. Yes. How old are you? Four years. Four years. But you. Now you are there is a demon that bound you and made you true. But the truth to is you don't to sow and harvest. You spend you your time in which you are not. It's not a good thing. It's not a good thing. You never even bought an egg. We have 45 people that have never even owned an egg. No, we have to come to the town. We have to go to the town. We have to go to the town. So let me tell you something. Get back to your understanding. And believe that Jesus set you free. And when you are working hard. Are you with me? No, there is nothing that is easy. And I want to tell you, easy things. They come so quickly. And they die so quickly. In fact, in psychology, there is a belief. That when, things, when the things you have happen so quickly, it is possible you are going to die so quickly. Someone that's going to die very fast. All of a sudden you hear All of a sudden that story. All of a sudden they are already dead. Things are happening so quickly. <laughs> And when things in your life take time to happen, it is a sign that you are a great person. That everything that happens in your life can only happen for a purpose and for the glory of God. There are some things that are going to live 20 years. Things in their life, they have to happen very quickly. But there are some people who are going to live 100 years. They take time. And whatever happens is a miracle. So what I want to tell you, don't believe in these people's prophecies. And when they deliver the prophecy and they see confusion, they just disappear. So where is this prophet that used to be so sorry? Where is this prophet that used to be so sorry? And I want to tell you, there's a lot of people that are going to be so sorry. And I want to tell you, there's a lot of people that are going to be so sorry. 
tokwetaga kulagulirwa kuona okurukiraho oko ko lagulirwa bulikiro tukutebeze nji greater than what you receive in the word of god tokwetaga omuntu kujagama alumseje lugaga lukunjiryo there's a man who used to come from lukunjiri nicho tshale bana batu tulebalisa batu we are still young we are lagga hikiri when he would arrive as we read he would close one eye agamba ya raba kashanda raba speaking town pastor mukama ine cha rugamba pastor god is when he send us out the wardrobe you have money in your wardrobe mukama na agamba ziheyo god says remove it ozimpe zintwale kampala to me i'm going to kampala akanyibe mirundi minji he stole from me many times but one time i told him the center mode drops is best room there was no money galuko sabe mukama akuleke mbere zishi pray that god may show you where it is ya jirat he did like uh uh ina ka blue press cameroon you have a maroon in zona mkapo press press cameroon then mukana bisimuzo byange ba mutoka bibuzire i said my na be biro le mbere biri you look for them ya uh, jirat language and in fact in the new technology today any kind of philosophy is called a person but now there are some people that have been taken like now uh, the, the science of happiness <laughs> it's a religion but it's a kind of a person but what i want to tell you the just shall live by faith. somebody shout hallelujah the just shall live by what by faith so what i want to show you today that this philosophy turned into a spirit and it possessed this girl that all the things that she spoke carried the substance the demon spoke the, the truth but mockingly in mark chapter 1 verse 24 124 mark 124 now it happened 124 saying let us alone what have you to do with us jesus of nazareth did you come to destroy us i know who you are the holy one of god do you know what what was that it was a mock a mockery Yes, you know to enzaji. Jesus what do you want? Oh isele kulumba no kutwita. Kandi ko isele kala. How come you? Hakwa nyoni nkumanya. Ni wa kwero wa isale. You're the holy one of Israel. Emizimu gisoko praise. Demons can praise you. No gaman rohanga na nyowe. Andugire yo nabazi. But bino byone emizimu kan chikola. But the demons were doing all. Nigeria Yesu na ku. Mocking Jesus. You understand what I'm talking about? In verse 25. In verse 25. But Jesus rebuked him. Saying, "Be quiet and come out of him." Oh, somebody shout hallelujah. Amen. Brethren, as I'm concluding. There are some demons that stay in the church. And at times we delay from chasing them because of the consequences. Did you know we have people here? If you chase out their now they also go with them. Do you chase out the prophet? I won't go back. Did you know the people in church who are still they come to pastor hallelujah mlisha praise the lord you call me a witch am i a witch tell me i'm a witch 
I'm not a witch. I'll tell you a word of faith. I'm not a witch. Kiraguza. Gambirogun di Chiraguza. Na Kiragura. Whoever seeks for a prophecy and whoever is going to hell. Samuel. Samuel. When he went to the other Samuel Samuel went for a prophecy. Saul. Saul. Saul, I beg your pardon. Saul. Saul. I can perceive you are Saul. So you want to kill me. Saul. Saul. You broke all the altars. And you sweared to kill whoever serves Midianites. Now you have come in hiding to kill me. So sweared. I swear by the name of the Almighty God, I did not come to kill you. I came that you may tell me and ask Samuel to come and speak to me. He said, swear by the name of the Almighty that you will not kill me. So practically Saul denied God. And the lady called Samuel, isn't it? about the truth about the matter this was not Samuel it was a demon when the spirit of Samuel came you know what he said who are you to call me out of my rest you are cast you are done what cast listen to this brethren Live by faith. Live by faith. This so-called prophet and prophetesses, some of them have a bad testimony that their anointing came from the tomb. Their anointing came from where? Even if he's coming from German. Even if he comes from UK, United States. Just stay away. Then another thing that you must stay away from is this unbalanced gospel of prosperity. We need that money. But at times we get it wrongly. When you ask you money to build the church, it's your church. But still we must be considerate that your giving is balanced. At the end of the day, the name of the Lord is greatly glorified. You understand what I'm talking about? Mm. So don't look for prophets. Because when you go over there, you, you stimulate your trouble. You, you, you start naming yourself of things that you are not. Now listen to this. The whole city had been caught up by this demon. Every evening these people are going for prayer. The lady who is demon possessed is the one praising them. These men are men of God. They preach salvation to us. We have had such a people go with us. These are men of the But ask yourself, is this a person or a demon? Bible in Gamba, he moved with them for so many days. Until when Paul got tired of it. Let's go back and see what he's saying, and we are winding up. This girl followed Paul and us and cried out saying, these men are the servants of the Most High God who proclaim to us the way of salvation. And this she did for many days. But Paul greatly annoyed turned and said to the spirit, I command you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, come out of her! And he came out that very hour. Be careful. 
people that you meet the people that are taking you to these false prophets do you know what they tell you when you go there they will prophesy if you planted the and it doesn't rain there's no demon they will kill you they will kill you it is because of drought that they have not <laughs> Mukamwe twa simu munu kakubo ichi emyaka makumi yana otakazaire mwana kandi otaine msaija na batalo muzimu guona omsaija ro otaine you don't have a husband and that kakuba uichi emyaka makumi yana uli munaku toka kulagi itaka toka somaga toka byalaga toka gesaga echuta ro muzimu guona chunko kwa ro muzimu guona budoma you know do the shit 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 It is just foolishness. Yenda bakusomese omulingo basiga no mulingo bagesa. How they swan harvest. Because kakuba chimuchona la chifola muzimu. Because if you make everything a demon. Bible ni gantu chola sibaga hans. No mwigulu na chisibaga. Ejinda suburaga hans. No mwigulu na chisibaga. We are people that have moved from place to place. Abantu abarugire mukikaro kimbagya mukiri. Ali mukanisen ali muliere. Omuna ruga muna agenda mbasa. Wewe omusabya wa komusabira no kujuna takajunwa. And the person praying for him has never even gotten saved. Nyonya na basabe bangi. I have my intercessor. It is not prayer that saves you. It is Jesus. Jesus that serves you. Yes, no, it is Jesus that serves you. Yes, no, There's a few not here in my strong concordance. This is what he says. The slave girl had the spirit of divination. And this, really, this is the spirit of a person. Characterizing her as one inspired by Apollo. Was a, a great philosopher. The God worshipped at Piso. Hmm? The demon in the slave girl spoke the truth, but in a mocking manner. Why Paul delayed to cast out the demon? Is uncertain. Perhaps he was aware of the peril to which. The exorcism would expose the mission team. There are some demons that are so tough. They can even speak. A town has believed in God. God has believed in God. So I can go and tell you. Until such a time. Paul had a reason why he did it. They ended up in the middle of the middle. They threw them inside the middle. Why? Because they chased the demon. No, to give me the truth. A man was so together and passed out and he didn't take him. So at the age of me, I can't talk. But when her master saw that their hope of prophecy was gone. Now listen to this. False prophets, all they are working for is prophets. Wildly prophets. They seized Paul and Silas and dragged them into the marketplace to the authorities. Why are they taken to court? They cast out the people's demons. Let's go on. And they brought them to the magistrates and said, these men, being Jews, exceedingly trouble our city. They have even begun to chase our demons. <laughs> Verse 22. And they teach customs which are not lawful for us being Romans to receive or observe. To receive or observe. Then the mighty that rose up together against them and the magistrates tore off their clothes and they commanded them to be beaten with rods. What's all this problem? They cast out a demon. 
Arabuji wakagenda cha Rusozi. Their boys went to Gyarso. Bagambi nywena bajununi mulete ebyo bologo byanyu. They said all of you that are saved. Abantu balete ebyo bologo babireta. They brought them. Wakaba ne babyoshi. When they were burned. Bali bagenda police ngwanu bokeze baranga bayitu. People went to police and reported that they burnt their bodies. Abujo katukabai ha munkomu. We got the guys out of. Twabagamba no bakoze mu ntungu baranga bayitu babese ebyo bologo. They said they called our good. Ngo musango babanyegerire. That's that's what they. Twagamba alo omulubanu. So is there an amount that they Ngunangwa bokeze ne bitali byabo. No mugamba chaka hoyere bihire, tetwile cyo kikora. Banu mbarekere akwata ro harugama ngwe bintu bamuhire bo by force. Ne kangoreke. Obolaba no tebeze ngiri. We can there's a limit your kozesa. Ala hawa kusera kuteka ho musango. Betu Yesu baraba na yiwe. Entalo Paul is your reign as singular. Na yiwe yezi kusinguza inyana haleluya. O osere kwikirizo labem. Seek faith and go through. But don't look. But never go to a man of God and say what is man of God and say what is God saying about me. If somebody has my prophecy, I don't need to ask him. I don't need to look for him. But when men of God speak, it is the Spirit of God that speaks through them. When you come to my office for a counsel, don't put me in a trouble to speak for God. I'll speak for myself because God has given me wisdom. How many of you understand what I'm talking about? When you come to me to give you a counsel, I have lived now 60 years. I am too experienced. I've read the Bible from A to Z more than 50 times. Mention a scripture, I will ideally tell you where it is. Now, don't tempt me to speak for God. Just tempt me to give you a counseling. You understand what I'm talking about? And the counseling I'm giving you is the word of faith. Brother, that condition you're in, believe God. Be you think being confused, you don't have money. But what do you do? Ah, we entered into prayer and fasted. <laughs> And God promised that we will never die. At high descent. No garaba mai no mukano wa gampo irimu. But in Charlie in the descent. I'm waiting for money. Ugano gamenti ugano. The Bible says. The Bible says. It nda hago mugesa. I'll bless. Emerumo jenga zao. And Paul and Agama Nguna Takolegi And Paul says whoever Now we talk about this Taliegi Hati ebi bihandi kiyo takabishomak Eri uhanga kabingulichi Ah 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 Baibuli ye njini ya kubiye Bishuba niyo yonjini ya kubiye na mananwa So hati wa Uruganda You have delayed Okere liruwe Sera kabanja Kaba gambi alo msaidja wa ngambi Hanu agenda kusuwela ine miaka nkaga Kaba gambi ugenyi wa iti nsoku buta Akwa nyuma ya mezak ne <laughs> Ah, 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 Let us read Proverbs 14, 23 to Richard Gamba. Hmm? The le in, in all labor, there is profit. But idle chatters lead, lead to poverty. You don't know. Idle chatter leads to what? To poverty. 
Then, Do you know what these people play on your psychology? They play you know, you win Live by faith. Live by faith. Walk by faith. When you do something, when you do something, you spirit Tandiko ukole na man Ruhanga soku ya muzio Na kuteka mchikumi Umbiru makumi ya tani Yuena haliruya Deka kusera bala kulagula Ama antu wa kuetaga kulagulua Ese bale meri Bushayo mulinyo ata ini mizimu chikacho wapu There is none of you that don't have demons in your lives Shwankuru Listen to this. In Mark 10:19, and we are done. 10:19. No, no. Look, look 10:19. I beg your pardon. Look 10:19. This is what it says. Behold, I give you authority to trample on serpents and scorpions, and over all, all, say all. The power of the enemy and nothing shall by any means hurt you. 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 Hurt Everybody has his own pain. But believe in the Lord. Then look at yourself and revise your books. Revise your movements. Revise your, your work. Have you sown? Some of the things you do are not prof profitable. But those things you do are a lesson to your growth. All the training you're having from school is a past experience of the trainers. Have you ever known that? They teach you this because somebody has gone through it. They do something new because somebody has researched on it. Now, in your life, you're a researcher. Somebody shout hallelujah. You were what? A researcher. When they first found things that are poisonous, do you know how they found them? Anything that a goat's heat can, it cannot kill you. If a goat can eat it, it can't kill you. That's how they knew that this was a good herb, this was a bad herb. And whatever a goat doesn't eat, don't eat it. 
the research that you saw the goat 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 the Ask your neighbor for me, what is your research? When you are working to make money, you say you have a dream. When you are working to make money, you say you have a dream. When you are working to make money, you say you have a dream. When you are working to make money, you say you have a dream. When you are working to make money, you say you have a dream. When you are There is a circumstance in the air. Which makes you stupid. You are like that. So listen to this. Wake up. Tell me, wake up. Wake up. Be active. So. We love people in the church that have money. We love people that in the church have cars. We have people that love in the church that have degrees. We love people in the church that have diplomas. We love people in the church that have an assignment. But a church where those people are not, that's an orphanage home. Are you an orphan? When people that work stand up, they bless us. People do not work. When they stand up, they beg from us. Pastor, when is the orphans and widows day? You are 35 years of age. Why do you think you are an orphan? No, take it. The working will infuse. Echiro, she infakat. The day of widows. Chad. When is it? That you get How old are you, ma'am? I am 29. <laughs> you are not a widow. It is just unfortunate. You but don't register among the widows. You can still be. 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 You can so today, I want to give you something. Don't allow the enemy to put you where you don't belong. Somebody shout hallelujah. Don't allow, say, don't allow the enemy to fix you somewhere where you don't belong. Oh, somebody shout hallelujah. Paul delivered this city when this demon was destroyed because the magistrates, the police, all the army, all the citizens had believed in a demon. That's why it was very difficult to be unasked. But he said, no. Come and buy and buy. I must chase this demon. Brethren, when you go into a new place, they will attack you. Because you have found demons that are settled. Nobody has ever touched them. Now you steal them and you put fire on them. They will react. But in the name of the Lord, you are more than a conqueror. Stand up and let us pray. Stand up and let us pray. Oh, Robo Koshendere, baby. Just lift up your hand and say, Heavenly Father. Heavenly Father. I put down every false prophecy upon my life. And I know the righteous shall believe in the word of God. The word of God says, I am healed. I am rich. I am powerful. I am righteous. I am very strong. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. That is literally enough. That's and that's who I am. That's in Jesus' name I pray. And everybody say, Amen. Amen.